Good morning, SMF MMTs. We've been looking at the NASDAQ 100 right here before us today. SMF called for a correction a couple of weeks ago, 10 days ago, whatever the case is. And then all last week, we were given what we call the second warning to a correction. Now, we have had a correction. This is standard weekly technical analysis, standard deviation model. What SMF works off of, though, is quite different in its model and basically we have a yearly model on the NASDAQ 100 that we designed that's 100% accurate so basically the swing high the weekly swing high and basically we're at about a half delta in our system uh, MMTs so we've already had the reversal contraction that we are calling for one of the things in the standard public model, when we called for this correction here on the stock market funding, we said that we were 94.21% and that we were going to have a pullback, a correction within a bull rally. Okay, So we had a correction within the long-term bull rally. And then when we put in the bottom at 2188, we made the highs up here at 2417 on the NASDAQ 100. That meant that throughout the earnings season that we went up after the correction and we made another higher high that's what happens in bull rallies at times they're not these contractions here these pullbacks are expected to happen what we have here now is a weekly reversal and I'm going to show you 2417 was the high peak the previous week's high was 2415 on a weekly on a Nasdaq 100 so we did make a slight higher high the key of it is is to understand that we have pulled back and closed at 23.83 on the NASDAQ 100. 23.83, so that's how much of the correction that we've had throughout the weekly level. What we will be looking for is where does it stop? If it stops up toward the high of the weekly bar, then we know we're not going to come down anymore. And not only that, in our NASDAQ 100 formula, if we don't break below 3.8 delta up, meaning that the SMF platform in itself is saying that right now where the markets are, we're up about 2.10% in our system, which is different than the public model, but it is. So we were as high when we were up there in the SMF platform, we were almost 3.68%, just a little bit shy of that. So it's already been a very evident contraction, okay? Because it has on a percent level. And in the uh, SMF platform, 0 0.88 ratio, we are, are down to 0 0.5. That's a half delta, that's 0 0.50. So we've had a contraction from 0 0.88 down to 0 0.5. Oh, in the market maker platform, index platform, and that's been the contraction here. If we break lower or gap down on a daily, it would confirm that we need to see another weekly follow through. But when it's up at the top to say that this is going to be coming down further from the original correction that we called for, I had a pretty good haircut last week. <clears throat> Jobs numbers came out. The market got a bounce on Friday. We would see the f Monday, we would see that the next weekly pattern is that we gap below that week there and we go lower down in the platform. The break even point is going to be 2336 in our SMF numbers. If we go below that, then we start working into the negative territory of negative ratio 0 0.13 if we hold up here at 0 0.5 in the market maker platform index platform and we don't break these levels then we're going to consolidate the we're going to consolidate the five-day correction that we had called for now to follow up with everybody worldwide is to let them know that you have to have a gap down at a weekly closing bar so we're going to have five trading days next week and one through five price action days is on the daily is going to tell us if we gap down on a daily chart it's going to tell us clearly on the NASDAQ 100 we had what we call 
diminishing reversal in play, meaning that the sell bars uh, were not big daily sell bars, but there was still a correction at the top that we called for. Now, how far this will go down is going to be yet to be determined. Okay? We've come down on the daily. We showed the weekly. That's this one right here. Okay? That's this weekly movement right here. Okay? And we're dealing with this NASDAQ 100 index. Okay? So, What's going to happen is if we gap below on a daily bar, so you want to look at the daily because this is going to be over five day period, this is going to signal. So if I gap below this low and I have a big sell bar, this is what we call a 20 day simple moving average that the public is going to look at right here, that red line. That's a public model. That's at the 2357. Our system is totally different. Right now, you got the blue line that, and it's all standard deviation, where ours is mathematically uh, built, and this is what the public does. So the 10-day moving average, blue line, we closed below it on a daily, because we did. And that puts it at 23.95, 0 0.2 below. That's, that's that number. Now, when we gap down, and if we get a sell program uh, for the beginning of the five-day correction that we called for, a correction and we did lots of names went down and then you had the jobs number that came out bam you got a gap but they sold into the gap that's the high so basically what I'm going to tell people is our support level in our platform which I'm going to show on the other monitor it's not in the video you'd have to be a MMT to see this information these are yearly formulas so basically we're down to a half delta we close slightly below it by two points 23 uh, 20 let's see where our half delta is that's the, going to be the support level the upper end of this level is going to be in the positive so I got a half delta negative at 2286 and a half delta positive at 2385 so we're in the positive half delta up at 0 0.5 if we don't get support at 2372 and bounce that's 3 eighths up that's 0 0.38 SMF ratio the next support level at one fourth will be a 0 0.25 ratio at one and a half positive percent in the MMT platform that's going to put that support level there at 2360.62 at one fourth 0 0.25 positive if we break below it and it's all going to be confirmed that in our platform we're going to gap below that daily bar and that we would see an increase in the daily distribution a bigger bar now what happens publicly at the 20-day simple moving average which is at 2357 in our platform a 1 8 delta positive is 23 48.33 that's 0 0.13 positive uh, NASDAQ 100 trend ratio up on the year so basically we're coming down and if we close below 23.72.91 that's 3 8 delta up in our platform 0 0.38 if we gap down below there and we don't bounce at that key number and the selling increases stop market orders will get taken out below the 20 day moving average and the near term support down here that the public would be looking at would be the 50 day simple moving average okay at 23.27 that's what the white line is the hundred day is this one right here and that number there is 2311.40 that's below the market so if this correction is going to have anything for the bears then we would have to see a gap below it and or a lower high with the bigger increase selling in the NASDAQ 100 and it's the top 100 stocks with the highest beta dollar price movement that is heavily weighted with a lot of the high flyers that have seven eight dollar ranges up and down all day some have 15 some have five dollars uh, in that nasdaq 100 so basically mmt's we do have the beginning of a correction the only thing that it's lagging is a big gap down below the daily bar with heavier increased selling pressure and then 
we will take a look and see if the stop market orders at the 20-day simple moving average, if there's a sell through and where we'll stop and bounce so that we can validate the correction in the NASDAQ 100. Is it a, Yes, a correction is a correction. And individual stocks have been selling off their highs. So when it comes to trade management MMTs, that if we gap down and a stock gaps up because of the index that it's in, the, if it's in the NASDAQ 100 now only, then that is going to be a short sell to make money on an intraday peak level of the equity because we're in more of a reversal in the NASDAQ 100. So if you're trading Apple in the NASDAQ 100, we've been shorting it every time it goes up to 350, it came down and closed at 346. Those are the kind of stocks that trade in the NASDAQ 100 right here. Okay, So you got Google in there, you've got some high flyers in there. You've got Amazon in there, Netflix in there, Baidu is in there, some of the, you know, that's what's in that NASDAQ 100. So trade management is if the correction continues, then we would be making more money on the short sell of every intraday high. And that if we are gapping down, that means that stocks are going to sell dollar price wise longer going down than shallower. So we'll be measuring the contraction formula which means that when something only contracts to a certain level and doesn't go any lower, then the overall trend is still strong. So we'll be updating people. We, I did not do this NASDAQ 100, but it's a weekly NASDAQ 100. It's this index right here, and we've had the correction. We've had a volatility gap on a daily with nothing but red here and standard technical analysis and standard technical analysis uh, support levels. Now. Remember, the stock market funding application has a mind of its own, and it's factored all of the public stuff in, but it factors it in a little bit different, and it's not wrong, and that's the NASDAQ 100 yearly formulas for MMTs.